My name is Frank McElhenney and I'm an artist from Glasgow and I'm over here in Donegal for a month and a, a residency with Artlink. I suppose I'm an atypical artist in a way uh, in that I've started so late. I uh, never thought about making art uh, until I was in my early 40s. Um, I was always someone who went and looked at art and was really interested in art always but uh, I had a career in industry and worked in manufacturing logistics most of my life. I took some time away from work. I actually went on a, a trip where I, I travelled for a month and uh, thought about doing something creative that involved writing in fact but what happened was that I took a camera with me and everywhere I went I was making pictures the whole time. So by the end of that journey, I realised that what I really wanted to do was to make visual art. Back in 2015, shortly after I graduated from art school, the news was full of coverage of people trying to come across the, uh, the Mediterranean Sea. And obviously a lot of people making that journey then going through Europe uh, and settling and difficult circumstances in countries like Germany and Sweden and so on and it was a real tragedy that uh, was unravelling in front of our eyes on the television every night and that kind of affected me and I wanted to make work that responded to that. If you look back only a few generations um, in these countries where people are trying to get to then the, you know, the indigenous people of those countries themselves probably experienced similar things not so long ago. Um, and in particular, the first thing that I looked at was the clearances that had happened in Scotland um, in the, you know, throughout the 19th century really. Uh, there was a lot of migration out of Scotland and often in circumstances where that was forced. And that got me off photographing abandoned settlements and, and I travelled all over the highlands and islands working with a kite and a drone uh, and making these images, aerial images, of what was left of these abandoned settlements. But as time went on, I thought about, and I guess was in a way forced to think about the fact that actually, how did I get to be here in Scotland myself? Because in a way, I'm not Scottish, I'm an Irish Scot. All my family uh, on both sides have come from Ireland and the names of my four grandparents are all Irish. That kind of logically led me to be where I am right now, which is in Donegal, where the McElhenneys came from uh, in the 1870s when they moved to Scotland. Um, looking at things in a more personal way and it's really quite moving in a way to, to go through that process of retracing the steps back to the source, as it were. Yeah, my, my approach to making work, um, I could talk about it in two levels, I suppose, you know, on a, a simple generic level, the way I think about art, um, you know, I'm looking at it from the point of view of a maker. And so when I think about, well, what is art? I think about it as a process um, that we go through as artists to generate new new work and it starts with investigation and asking questions um, things that may trouble us or confuse us or we're just curious about um, and we investigate and make discoveries through time um, but as an artist part of that process involves creation and creation and making things is, it has a feedback loop. Uh, you know, it, it helps you to answer questions. It helps you to make new discoveries. Um, the, the act of making, uh, the physical act of doing these things, uh, making a photograph, making a drawing, um, it moves forward your understanding. Um, and it's a process of, of uh, building knowledge. And finally, the, 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 the communication aspect I don't think that any work is fully resolved until it's been shared with other people and you get you know, a feedback loop from that as well. So that's kind of like my general 
overview of, of art in four words, yeah? Investigation, discovery, creation, and communication. Coming here to Donegal, uh, got a map of Donegal and, you know, get my highlighter pen out and I just mark off things that um, might look interesting for general reasons or things that specifically are connected to questions that I've been asking. Um, and they, then I go about this thing that I would call purposeful wandering where I, you know, I do get in the car and I do drive and I just try and get around as much as possible and speak to people and see a lot of things and, and make a lot of photographs as I go. I can be quite opportunistic uh, during that, uh, that traveling and, and, and making the initial collection of, of work. Um, if an opportunity presents itself, I'll follow it. Things happen, so while I've been here, I found out there was this uh, maritime history seminar day and I went down there and listened to a talk that a guy was giving about uh, migration and learned some new things uh, that, that might inform some of the works that I would make. Um, and simple things happen like, you know, coming here, I noticed that there were these bird sanctuaries um, that were very close to the place where my family originally came from. And I just went there and realised that, you know, you know, th these birds, these swans and geese from Iceland, in a way, could act as a metaphor um, for the migration theme that I was exploring. And so I became quite obsessed in a way with photographing at dusk and dawn, the birds uh, leaving the lake in the morning to go off and feed in the fields and then coming back in at night when the sun went down. There's a, a slow filtration process at the end of all this. It's a, once you've gathered in all this material, um, I think you have to allow for a, a slow filter on it all, um, you know, or harvest of the, this knowledge that you've, you've garnered um, so that the works that drop out the bottom somehow synthesize all these disparate elements into something that's coherent. You know, I think that the, the moment of discovery, when you realize the penny drops that this could be significant. So what I talked about there with the swans and the geese, it sounds daft really, really when you think about it. Uh, but then, you know, you stand in the dark and you see these beautiful birds flying over your head really close and they've got a seven foot wingspan and there's like 12 of them and they're all making a really loud noise, not just through their, their flapping of their wings, but the, the call that they make. And, and you, you kind of, it affects you physically and emotionally. And then you think, yeah, and that can become part of the work because actually these birds come here every year, they migrate and I'm making this work about the movement of people. And that movement is not a final one-off movement. It's actually an ebb and flow. You know, you and I are sitting here and we've both got Scottish accents because we're in Donegal. Um, because connections remain in place and people come and go, and they have done for centuries. Um, um, so those penny drop moments where you make those little discoveries where you can connect something uh, to the work that you, you, you want to make and what you want to, the metaphors that might help you explain and share things. Um, th those, are, those are key moments and, and things that I enjoy. Like a lot of artists, I do a day job. Um, and if I'm working a contract doing a day job, it's hard to get the headspace to actually really focus on a project. And by going on a residency and changing your uh, geographical location, um, you, you kind of break the cord. Clearly, in the case of this residency and a few others, um, they have the places that I tend to for, try and get uh, placed would be things that have a direct connection to the projects that I'm working on. So that process I spoke about earlier about how I make purposeful wandering, driving around, making lots of images, maybe discovering connections that I hadn't even anticipated. I want to be doing that in a place that is connected to the work and the project. Well, I think that it's been very beneficial, the residency uh, for my practice. Um, 
the some of the things we've spoken about already, which is discoveries, personal discoveries about my family history that feeds in directly to the project that I've been working on, which is all about migration. Um, some of it though is just generally meeting people who are involved in the art scene. And I think that that's kind of uh, potentially could pay dividends in the future because there's a lot of cultural exchange between Donegal and the kind of west of Scotland. Um, so I'd like to keep up some of those connections, you know, and meeting some of the other artists like Barry Sutherland, for example, who's originally from Glasgow. I think it, it's good to, to build up that network of contacts. Well, working with ArtLink, it's been both enjoyable and interesting, right? Um, because I'm used, being based in Glasgow, of course, it's a city that's known for, I guess, uh, you know, its art institutions and its cultural scene and all the rest of it. And I think coming to work with ArtLink, things are very spontaneous is maybe a way that I would describe it. It's been eye-opening how with so, such little resources you can get so much done. And I think that's commendable as well. But it's been a pleasure working with everybody as well. I mean, everybody's been very friendly and helpful um, above and beyond the call, to be honest with you. Uh, one of the things that was really enjoyable um, during the time of the residency was doing the workshop because we actually had, I don't know, a dozen people in the room uh, all working together uh, in a practical way, making pinhole cameras. and But it was great because of the conversation and we talked about art and we talked about local uh, history and uh, that aspect of, you know, not just meeting people running galleries, curators, whatever, but actually meeting the people that live here and, and you know, finding out about their lives. You learn a lot, you know, as an artist from that, you know, the, the real people, you know, the, getting a taste of reality, I think, is uh, really important in these residencies. So that was good.